Hey everybody, it's Andy aka Max Ryder. We're back with another unboxing video. This one was from E... Uh, where was this from? I don't even remember where I got this actually. It might have been Amazon actually. Books and Media from Beaverton, Oregon is the one who fulfilled the order. I'm pretty certain it wasn't eBay to be quite honest. I'm guessing it was Amazon because I've not seen this on eBay in quite a while. And recently I did another unboxing video of the... Um, what are they called? The uh, it was a, it was a, it was another Stormbringer supplement. The the Pantang one, and people were like, "Oh, you can get this other supplement." Somebody said, "You can get another supplement for only a certain amount of dollars," and I said, "Oh, uh, hook me up." And then they're like, "Oh no, no, they don't have it." And I was like, "Oh, damn." Well, and that got me in the mood to get it, so I ended up purchasing. Sea Kings of the Purple Towns. Ooh, I love how old Chaosium books smell. There's just something about it. So this is uh, Deadly Deals on the Merchant Isle, and I've been wanting to get this. I'm hoping it didn't wasn't supposed to come with some kind of a, a map because it doesn't look like it's got one, but I don't think it does. Sea Kings of the Purple Towns. Between the oldest ocean and the eastern ocean lies the Isle of Purple Towns, the center of commerce and trade in the young kingdoms. Sailing into port, visitors are impressed with the magnificent buildings, the splendid markets, and friendly people. Few see the undercurrents, the dirty deals, and the politics, which threaten to rip apart the apparent serenity of the island. The Isle of Purple Towns is a haven for adventurers, a safe port to count money, and plan future deeds of daring. It lies literally in the middle of the world, and ships sail from from Purple Town's ports to every other nation. It can form an excellent foundation for your Stormbringer role-playing game, or campaign. Let's see what we got here. I miss the old black and white. Uh, first off, quality, a little scratchy, but that's okay. You gotta expect some shelfware uh, when you buy used stuff. Oh, nice. Okay, so there's the Isle, the Isle of the Purple Towns. This is one of my last and this one's actually for Stormbringer as opposed to Elric. And I think this is one of the last ones I need, but I'm not sure. So we're going to have maps of all the towns, it looks like, which is very cool. Purple Towners. Culture. Whoa. Everything has a price. Yeah, slavery is pretty rampant in the Stormbringer universe. Oh, nice. Purple Towns Brig. Very cool. Okay. If it's got a ship in it, hey. Churches of the Isle. Some of the gods that are worshipped. Oceans of the Young Kingdoms. Encounters at sea. Encounters in the Purple Towns. Random charts to see who you might run into, which is kind of cool. Purple Towns Digest. Personalities. Priests, merchants. Okay, this is a bunch of NPCs. That's cool. The Strong Arms. Strong Arms looks like a tavern. Um, or is that a scenario? Yeah, it's a scenario. Strong arms. So we got strong arms, a scenario. Sisters of Chaos. Um, this just looks like an organization as, a as opposed to a scenario, but it might be a hard to tell. Uh, this kind of does look like a... This is definitely another scenario. The Unholy Fortress. Whoa. That is, uh, that's pretty scary looking. Holy crap. The head of Yashputum Kale. Stormbringer has some crazy stuff in it. I think uh, Cassian pretty just was pretty much was just like, yeah, let's do this, and just went nuts when they uh, were producing K oh, Stormbringer. And I think they did a great job, to be quite honest. So this is, sorry, I didn't say what that was. This is Karis Burning. It's like another scenario, possibly towards the end of the universe. And then we have... Some ads, quite a bit of ads, some order forms. There we go. That's Sea Kings of the Purple Towns. Nice. So thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I appreciate it. And I will talk to you all next time.